Hi, what's up guys? So in this video, I'm going to show you how to use the social media rotator widget in Stream Elements. It was created by Benno. So I don't know if this widget will work if you're using Streamlabs, but for those using Stream Elements, like myself, and wondering how to add a fifth icon or why sometimes the text uh, piles up, uh, keep watching. Alright, so first thing you need to do is go to Stream Elements, log in, and once you're in, go to Themes Gallery, and then click on Widgets. So here you'll see the widgets. There are only three. Um, I don't I don't know if you get more if you're subscribed, but you get three. So this is what I'm talking about to the social media rotator. So what it does is that. So it shows all of your social media in, um, in rotation. <laughs> okay, so create layout. So I, I had I have a layout um, already with this one, so I'm gonna use that one. All right. See theme and overlays. So now you can go to your trial overlay and edit them. All right. So this is what you do uh, when you're inside your layout. So this would be the instructions. So you can read that or you can just skip to watching. But I did read that, so it's very important to read instructions. So I'll delete that for now. Go here. Press the widget and then go to settings. So this is where you can change the font, change the size, change the weight, and then the name, of course. So let's put here my Twitter handle, my YouTube channel name, my Instagram name, and my Twitch name. So my Twitch name's different <laughs> for now. It'll be the same after a week, I think. So yeah. So what if you want to add a fifth icon, a fifth social media, or a sixth? So here's what you do. You go to editor, go to JS, then you copy this part, this part. So there's actually an instruction here um, to use more than four icons, copy this example. So copy up until here, then go here and press enter and paste it. So you'll know it works if the color appeared. So this will be a blue green, this will be yellow. For example, this would be Discord, which they have preset actually. So that's my Discord. And let's see if we can add Facebook too. So, uh, so again, if you want Facebook, you have to change the icon name. So make sure these are all um, lower caps because if you put one um, capital letter there, I think it's going to crash, which happened to me quite a few times. So what you do is uh, for the logo, you go and find the Facebook logo, preferably 200 by 200 pixels. Make sure it's transparent. Then copy link address. Again, let's copy link address. You're going to paste it here on the link. So don't remove the quotations. Just remove what's inside. Then for the color, you want the color of Facebook. So search Google for the Facebook color code. Add in. Add in. So now let's wait and see. There you go. That's the Discord. Let's see if the Facebook thing worked too. There you go. So what we do now, set a little bit of technical stuff. If you want to edit the animation time, the display time, any of these, you have to edit it also on the JS editor. So for example, I want this to be 600, 6,000, 600, 600, 600. So in order for the social media icons and text to not pile up, what you do is you go to editor again, go to JS, then change to those stuff here too. So I put 600, 6,000, 600, 600, 600. So that way it won't go on top of each other and um it's synced so that was that for the tutorial so if you like the video um, please leave a thumbs up and uh, subscribe but if you have any questions or concerns leave them in the comments below um i gladly answer them to the best of my ability and shout out to benel for creating this amazing widget i absolutely love it but uh so yeah if you got time you can watch me on twitch and facebook gaming so it, it'll be lord anti zero on facebook and odrazil gaming on twitch which will be soon turn into um, or Dante Zero. Bye. Peace.
Zombie Apocalypse.